Um, now we will watch a video message from Rosamund Pike, Goodwill Ambassador of the Mines Advisory Group. Hello. 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 It is rare to be both heartbroken and inspired in the space of a few short hours. But in a village in southern Lebanon, in a part of that country that has been torn by unforgiving war for many, many years, I felt both those emotions in equal measure. I felt despair that the world is still using weapons such as landmines and cluster bombs that hurt people so indiscriminately. And I was inspired with hope when I met people who had the courage, the skill and the fortitude to rid their communities of this lethal legacy. During that visit to Lebanon, I was privileged to meet the brave and fearless deminers of the Mines Advisory Group, also known as MAG, and to talk to ordinary people whose lives have been affected and devastated by landmines. The effect of this experience was profound, and the issue of landmines is one which has occupied me ever since. Hence, I'm very proud to call myself the first ever ambassador of the Mines Advisory Group. How can it be right that children are dying of, as a result of conflicts that ended decades ago? How can it be right that children continue to be killed by weapons that have been banned by the vast majority of countries? How can it be right that mothers and fathers are consumed with anxiety every time their child steps out of the safety of their home? It isn't right. And it's obvious that it isn't right. So today, as we mark International Day for Mine Awareness and mark the 25th anniversary of the formation of the Mine Ban Treaty, I want to use my voice to speak on behalf of all of those whose lives are still affected by landmines. I want to use my voice to speak on behalf of all of those who've lost loved ones or whose loved ones have been injured or who've been injured themselves. And I want to use my voice on behalf of all of those who live with the fear that one small step could be their last step. The Mine Ban Treaty was the direct consequence of a global campaign that brought together governments, civil society, public figures, and the general public for a common cause to end the suffering caused by landmines. The treaty changed the global, political, and disarmament landscape, and it paved the way for other life-saving treaties. And there has been much progress over the past 25 years. Casualties from landmines have dramatically declined since the adoption of the treaty. More than 30 countries have declared themselves landmine free. And the vast majority of the world has banned and rejected landmines, attaching to them a stigma that they richly deserve. But the international community simply isn't doing enough about the landmine problem. Landmines still affect some 60 million people across the world. Last year, landmines killed or injured about 19 people every day. Landmines prevent people farming. Landmines prevent children from accessing education. Landmines hamper efforts at sustainable development and they hamper the kind of economic growth which is essential for improving quality of life, health and well-being for some of the world's poorest. I joined MAG as ambassador because I've seen the difference that MAG makes to the lives of some of the most vulnerable people in the world. MAG's skilled and courageous staff are actually drawn from affected communities, which means the D miners' own lives have frequently been affected by landmines. And it is these individuals who are helping to rid their communities of landmines right across the world who are my inspiration. They are ordinary people doing an extraordinary job and achieving extraordinary things. So I feel privileged to be able to add my small voice to a chorus, I hope, <laughs> for change. What does change mean? Change means more funding from the world's governments to pay for more landmine clearance. Change means more countries sh signing and upholding the Mine Ban Convention. Change ultimately means fewer lives affected by landmines. 
I'm humbled to support those working so hard to clear their communities of landmines in whatever way I can. Their courage and their skill, they're unmatchable in my opinion. So please, please join me in supporting them in their mission. Together we can all play our small part in helping to make the world a safer place. And together we can play a small part in saving lives and building new futures for millions and millions of people right across the globe. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pike. And also, she says her voice is small. It's not a small voice. It's a big voice. And for adding it to our chorus to speak on behalf of all those who've been killed or injured or who live in fear, as she said, that one small step could be their last step.